Hello there. In this lecture, we'll see how to create a partitioned hive table using Apache Spark. Let me quickly create a uh, Spark job. Hives partition table. And uh, I would like to copy the boilerplate code as well. I'll just copy with a boilerplate uh, code and uh, let me quickly import the stuff as well. Now, I have my CSV file ready, and in our previous video lecture, we have seen how to create a hive table from Spark. Uh, and uh, it was just a, a plain table and uh, in this video i want to create a partition table uh, so for that uh, let's quickly examine uh, the contents of the uh, table uh, so i'll log into impala shell impala shell and uh, what is the table we have created let me open that use for course Oh, tables so to see whether the table has partitions or something uh, you can just uh, use a show table stats command from uh, Impala stocks so okay table stats and uh, you can see uh, it states that there are no uh, partitions available in this particular uh, table so uh, to create the partition right uh, let's select on which column we can uh, uh, create the partition from the table so for that let me just uh, print a couple of rows from the table i have printed the top 10 rows and uh, here you can see uh, there are something called symbol series open high and other stuff right so it makes sense to me to create a partition based on the series right that series is something like uh, either it can be an equity series or uh, it can be a debt or something like that so let's see how many types of equity series are there in the uh, table so select uh, distinct um, series from uh, NSC stocks and there are these many how many rows are there there are a total 72 distinct series are there in the table right so uh, what I would I would like to create a partition for each series available in the data right uh, I the data which I have loaded last time was uh, available from this location in the HDFS location uh, which is uh, uh, in my home directory talent origin there is something called data sets under which nsc stocks and we have nsc stocks hyphen uh, at data.csp right this this is the file which we tried to load last in the in our last uh, video uh, where we have created a normal uh, uh, table in using uh, uh, apache spark if you have not seen my previous video lecture uh, i will provide a i button over uh, right top corner you can uh, click it and uh, you can uh, go through the video uh, so i have my uh, data frame ready and i have my uh, a table uh, uh, i have my uh, table data is also ready right now i want to create a new table i don't want to disturb that existing table uh, i will uh, create a new table and that table uh, will be a partition table so i'll take uh, stocks data frame dot write dot there is an option called partition by here you can pick, mention any number of columns uh, based on the order of the columns you'll have those many partitions in the in the same uh, uh, hierarchy which you have uh, mentioned over here suppose uh, you want to create a partition one and uh, later you can create partition 2 like and you can create partition 3 something like this 
you can you can create any number of partitions uh, based on your uh, business use case uh, currently i have identified only one uh, partition uh, column which is a series column uh, in our data uh, which is a series column right so i'll create a partition column with series sorry series and uh, if the table is not there then no problem right now I'll, I'll i'll try to create a new table so the table definitely will not be there but i would like to use the option uh, uh, which is uh, overwrite uh, option that is mode i want to mention the mode of uh, uh, data uh, mode of the table we what we create uh, so for that i'll do save mode dot there is an option called overwrite even this uh, different modes which we have in our uh, you can uh, refer the video my previous video i'll just leave a, a i button and you can click on it and you can uh, go through the video and now i have uh, written the uh, mode as well now i can use a method called uh, save as table now uh, which database i would like to use there are two databases available uh, uh, spark course and talent origin i would like to use spark course uh, in that spark course i would like to create a table called partition stocks this is my table name right so it's very straightforward to create a partition table from uh, spark in uh, uh, hive uh, we just have to mention what are the partitions on which we want to create a partition table and the rest of the things will be taken care by spark so very straightforward uh, uh, pro procedure i am just creating a spark session in the spark session uh, i'm mentioning uh, uh, what is my resource manager and i'm enabling uh, hive support and i'm also mentioning uh, uh, which mode i would like to learn uh, uh, run my spark job uh, yarn mode by default yarn is nothing but yarn client mode in cloud era so i'll be running my job in the yarn client mode and later what i'm doing uh, I'm reading a file which is a CSV file which is available in my HDFS location. Uh, this this CSV file will be converted into a data frame uh, with a CSV method which is available from Spark. Once I have this data frame available, once I have uh, have this uh, data frame available, I'm using a method called partition by uh, which is uh, uh, which is provided by uh, which is provided for the Spark uh, data frame and uh, this partition by will be used for uh, creating any number of partitions which 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 you want to create in your hive table and uh, the mode which i have mentioned over here uh, it's again optional one uh, this mode uh, uh, states there are different uh, 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 states whether you have you, you want to append the existing table or you want to throw an error if the table already exists or if you want to uh, override the table if the table already exists these are the different uh, modes which are available uh, and i have chosen override method just for a demonstration purpose and I have uh, used an option save as table with this I am trying to save the spark job uh, I am trying to run the spark job which creates a, a table partition underscore stocks under spark, spark underscore course database right this is very straightforward procedure let me quickly run this uh, spark job and uh, see how it uh, how the data looks in our uh, hive table Now you can see our uh, Spark job has uh, completed. Uh, we'll just uh, go and uh, run the command. And uh, remember that I'm using an Impala shell. Uh, so for Impala to reflect the tables which are created recently, you have to do something called invalidate metadata uh, to show the tables which are newly added uh, using Spark or Hive. This is an uh, uh, Impala uh, limitation uh, or uh, this is the way Impala identifies uh, or it, this is the way Impala reads Hive Meta Store. Uh, 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 directly it won't uh, read the Hive Meta Store. Only with invalidate metadata it will try to read the uh, Hive Meta Store. Now this command is done. Let's see if the table is available now. Show tables. And you can see there is something called partition table. Let me just quickly show table stats and give this partition table and uh, you can see uh, all the partitions which are created uh, uh, using this spark job right 
and you can see the uh, number of rows is uh, showing as minus one uh, this is because uh, the invalidate uh, metadata command only uh, identifies the table which is created and the data data which is available but if you want to calculate the uh, uh, statistics of it uh, t uh, partition or uh, a newly added partition right you have to uh, uh, run another command which is called compute uh, stats and uh, the table name compute stats and the table name this is little expensive operation uh, so if you are trying to run this command over uh, uh, a heavy table right uh, suppose having a teradates of uh, terabytes of data uh, it might take ages to complete but as we have only 24 or 25 mb of data it doesn't take much time but if you have teradates of uh, terabytes of data available then it will take uh, a lot of time so there is another command which is called compute incremental stats which will uh, which will calculate uh, incremental stats uh, this command will calculate uh, only the partitions which are uh, newly added to the table uh, so in that case uh, it will be very fast compared to the one uh, which we are running uh, earlier right compute stats uh, tries to calculate the uh, stats of entire table but whereas incremental stats will try to calculate that uh, uh, statistics on the tables which are newly added that is the difference between these two commands uh, you don't have to worry about these uh, commands which I'm trying here. Uh, these are Impala specific commands. It's uh, good to know stuff uh, when you are uh, working with Big Data or Spark. Right? And you can see that there are uh, 72 partitions have been updated and uh, 12 columns are there. Now we'll try to see the table stats and you can see number of uh, rows which are available uh, for each partition. Right? So uh, this is how we uh, try. Uh, we can create a partition table using uh, uh, Apache Spark job very very it's very straightforward and it's very simple to create a, a partition table uh, using apache spark uh, and that, that that's how it is done right okay that's it for this lecture guys and uh, uh, see you in the next uh, next video lecture uh, if, you, if you like this video just give a thumbs up and uh, share the video and spread the knowledge and if you are new to the channel uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, uh, keep learning keep practicing and uh, enjoy your day bye guys